As we return to full in-person education, we have been consistently looking through three lenses. First, the health and safety of our students and our faculty and staff has been primary. Second, we know that education is best when it is in person. And third, the social emotional impact of the pandemic on the mental health and well-being of our students is a significant priority. For all those reason, reasons, we've been focused on in-person education and putting ourselves in a position to be able to go full. We've demonstrated that our students can do in-person education safely. The keys to that success are well known. Continuous compliance with masking up, social distancing, and personal hygiene. And of course, if you're sick, please stay home. And one of the key questions we've been asked is how can we safely double the number of students and still keep students safe? First and foremost, by masking up and social distancing. Regardless of the number, that is the key masking up and social distancing. We'll be doing that during classes and paying particular attention to those non-class times, breaks, lunch, morning arrival, and afternoon dismissal. The number of students on campus each week is the same in full or in hybrid. And especially by thoroughly cleaning and disinfecting the facilities, we continue to mitigate any spread through the surface of the facilities. As you know, this is the library in Founders Hall. This year, it's convert, been converted into one of our dining hall spaces. As you may notice, we removed all of the books to find additional space so that our students can come here, have lunch, and socially distance safely. It's one of three locations that we'll use on campus for lunch. We have our library, the dining hall, and we will recently add, as we go to full, the Firebird Fieldhouse. So that way, our students have places to go to eat safely. Additionally, if weather permits, our students can eat outside. Also, our administration is present in all of these locations to ensure that our students, when unmasked and eating, are socially distanced and safe. As you know, our plan since August is to return to full capacity. So for this school year, we removed the bells. In removing the bells, that decreases the, the population in the hallways or in the stairwells at any point in time, because it staggers the release of classes by teachers. Additionally, we extended our transition time so that students have more time to get to classrooms. Also, we're now using four buildings for classes, which means there's less of a population in each of the building, therefore less students in the hallway and in the stairwells at one point in time. As we have told you earlier this year, we have set up our educational spaces so that we can accommodate the social distance that our students need to be safe. We have literally knocked down walls to find ways to be able to have the space we need so that our students can be in the classroom safely. In places like our science lab, we've added additional PPE like gloves and face shields in addition to the mask so that our students can also do experiments safely. We hope that with this video and our explanation and showing the spaces on campus, you can see the protocols that are in place so that our students can be safe on campus. As you know, the evidence continues to demonstrate that students are safest when they're in school. We have educated our students on the importance of social distancing, completing the wellness form, using hand sanitizer, and masking up. We wanted to have fall sports, so we limited attendance and forced mask wearing on the sidelines and limited personal contact. We wanted to have a National Honor Society induction. So we took the largest space on campus, the field house, and created a socially distanced gathering place. We even wanted to have winter sports and our basketball players and runners are wearing masks to compete and are doing so safely and successfully. Vigilance to stopping this spread has to happen with five people or 50 people or even 100 people. But the rules remain the same, masking up, social distancing and washing your hands. So far, our experience is that our students are committed to staying in school and following the rules, and so are we.